Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So I bought this projector from Amazon. It's the Vankyo Leisure 430W. W being the successor for the previous model, which was the 430, meaning wireless. Now this is a really awesome compact projector which has screen mirroring capability through Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead, give it an unboxing and set it up on the wall behind me. I've cleared it off. I'm gonna give you a demo of uh, setting this up using my iPad, screen mirroring it wirelessly. So that's a really cool feature to have. So let's get straight into it. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Now, I really like this carry case that it comes with. It's got a screen mirroring logo there on the front. It's very nice. It's uh, easy to take with you in this. So let's open this. So here we have a few accessories. So let me go and check this pouch. So you have some cleaning equipment for the actual bulb and the lens for the projector. You have a quick start guide. You've got the user manual as well. You have the power plug. You have an AV cable here as well with a little screw kickstand as well, which I'm gonna set up shortly. You have a very nice and compact remote control with all of the standard functions on there. And they also provide a HDMI to HDMI cable as well to get yourself up and running straight away. And there you go, you can see how compact it is. It's very lightweight. It's got a very nice design and it comes in white. So let me go ahead and showcase to you the different ports and buttons that are on this device. Okay, so starting off on the top, you have the power button, the menu button, the source button, the back button, and an okay button as well for your selection. And this metal circle ring is the left and right up and down directional arrow buttons. You have two rings here on the front. The one at the front is the keystone one and the one at the back is the focus. You have a lens cover there to protect the bulb as well. On the left hand side, you have a few ports. You have the headphone port for audio out. You have the AV input there as well for audio and video there. You also have a TF card slot if you wanted to play anything back through a SD card. You have a traditional USB port, a HDMI port and a VGA port. So plenty of options to cover different things for connecting this projector to. It could be your Sky TV box, it could be your PlayStation or your Xbox and various other things like your laptops, your computer, but most importantly, you can screen mirror wirelessly as well. Or if you wanted to connect your phone, you can do that via the USB cable using your phone's original cable. On the right hand side, you have the power socket there. On the back, you have the infrared receiver. On the bottom, you have the vent for the cooling system and then you have the speaker there as well. This is the port for the kickstand, which I'm gonna be setting up shortly. So that's the entire projector. Let me go ahead and take off this protective covering there. So let's quickly run through some of the key specifications and then let's set this up. Okay guys, so the one thing I really like about this is that the bulb is actually 5800 lumens and if you do a search on Amazon UK for all projectors less than 100 pounds, which this one is, then this actually has the highest number of lumens, which is the level of brightness for projectors on any of the projectors under 100 pounds, so that's really awesome. The actual lamp life gives you more than 50,000 hours of life there and the projection size of the actual image goes up to 40 inches if you're 3.9 feet away and a massive 236 inches of display if you set it up 23.6 feet away as well. Now natively this projector is 720p out of the box, but it does support upscaling of 1080p, although it's not natively HD 1080p resolution. And the best thing about it is, of course, as I mentioned, is the wireless screen mirroring that's inbuilt into it using the Wi-Fi capabilities. But of course you can set it up with a wire as well. So as I briefly showed you before, this was the kickstand screw that came with it. I'm just going to connect that at the bottom as well to give it a bit of elevation. So I'm just gonna leave it about that height there and then have it point upwards. And of course you can adjust this. So now that's ready, let's go ahead, plug it in and set it up in the wall behind this and then let's see how it displays. Okay guys, so I've just connected it. Now it's displaying on the wall. I'm gonna be changing the source. So I have the remote control so you have a few options here. I'm gonna go straight into screen mirroring and set up my iPad. All right, so as you can see, it's told me to connect to the Wi-Fi. So all I need to do is go into the Wi-Fi in my iPad. It's connected. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select screen mirroring there. As you can see, and it pops up with Leisure 430W. So I'm just going to select this 
and you can see on the projection behind me it's now connected so you can see it does both portrait modes and landscape modes as well and just to give you an idea of how quick the responses are i'll just show my ipad from this distance if i turn it this way you can see it's pretty quick not too much lag but i think it's perfect for that if i'm just swiping you can see it's pretty good now let me go ahead and play a video streaming wirelessly of course this should be a little bit better when you play with a wired cable but nonetheless let's try it wirelessly and see how it comes out now it's not too bad pretty smooth playback it would be a lot smoother if i connected it directly with the usb cable but this is just streaming wirelessly and i just wanted to see how smooth it is and i'm pretty impressed with that All right guys, so I've just connected a USB stick into the projector and I'm gonna be playing a video clip directly from that. And the audio from this clip will be coming directly from the projector so you guys can hear to see how that sounds. Right, guys i hope you found that review very useful as you can see it's a pretty bright picture and i'm really liking this projector you can pretty much connect it to anything you want if you are going to watch a movie or play some games i definitely recommend you connect it through a wire and not through the wireless capability because you may get some lag and some buffer but other than that it's very convenient for the price and the size of this projector i think it's an awesome buy it comes in at 90 pounds on amazon which is a steal and i'll have a link in the description below where you can buy that 5800 lumens it's very bright for this price point as well so that's one other plus point i really like about this projector now i think out of everything the most standout feature is the screen mirroring so if you want to quickly put on your phone or your ipad and you want to show your family or your friends some pictures i think it's great for that if you just want to browse some general websites and showcase things to people or if you're running some presentations in the office and you really want to connect your powerpoint slides or anything like that i think it's great for that as well so multiple uses you'll get out of this projector now it does have a dual cooling system inside there as well so it doesn't allow it to overheat but it is recommended that if you do play continuous playback of around three to four hours then do give it a little bit of a break before you carry on playing it so just make sure if you wanted to extend its working life then to always give that break and a gap between your playback now it does have a low fan noise suppression system inbuilt as well so it's not too noisy but if you are in a very quiet room and you're maybe by yourself and you don't have speakers connected to this then you can hear the fan a little bit but generally from a lot of the projectors i've used in the past it is pretty low noise so that's a really good plus and if you are going to use this to watch movies and set up a home cinema system i do recommend setting up some speakers with the projector as well so you get the audio coming out from somewhere else and it's a little bit more louder and punchier the audio from the actual projector i thought was quite punchy and it is loud for what the size of the projector is i did go up to 100 volume which was the max and it was pretty loud and i was pretty impressed with it so that's a real good plus point now if there's anything else you'd like to know about this uh, projector then do drop a comment below otherwise do check it out on amazon i've got the link down below it's 90 pounds it's an absolute bargain and if you did enjoy this video i hope you give this a big thumbs up and i hope you subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time take care